Hey, this is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining me. It's always a pleasure to bring these videos. I'm just going to wrap up the GameStop thing. I'm sorry, I just can't get give it up because there's so much more information that's coming out. Two big pieces of information today in the, wa in the Washington Post about all the guys that lost money. I mean, some of these guys lost 10, 20 grand. Some of these guys lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. These are the Wall Street bets guys. I know the the big guy, the big guys on the short end lost like $20 billion. But guess what? That's, that can be replenished. The guys that lost 50% of their equity, I forget the name of the company, the, the hedge fund, he made a phone call and he got $2 billion from two multi-billionaires. One was Citadel and the other one was Stevie Cohen over at uh, uh, 72, whatever the heck the name of his hedge fund is. He's, they just got the money like that because he's one of those guys. But the guys that lost two and three hundred thousand in their whole bankroll just by following a mem, I think they call it mems. I'm still not sure exactly what a mem is, but it was like they're it's like going to Las Vegas. I lived in Las Vegas. I never played cards, never really was much of a gambler. I own stocks and I have taken a lot of risks and I've lost millions of dollars, but I consider them to be somewhat, you know risks that I took based on some kind of a formula, not just because they wanted to jump in. And a lot of these guys that have lost their money, and you can read about this in the uh, Washington Post. They posted it today, today's February 3rd. It's like they're proud of getting their ass kicked. It's just the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know people actually did this sort of thing. And it's almost like a cult-like following, like they're gonna stick with GameStop to the bitter end. One of my favorite scenes and one of my favorite movies is Rounders. And that's when they're in the bathhouse scene with John Tentura, who plays the, the role Kanish. He is a professional gambler. He doesn't play cards, but only for making money, not for the glory. And maybe they're gonna show us that scene where Kanish talks to Michael and says, I'm not in the glory of it. Angles, you never have the fucking stones to play one. Stones? You little punk. I'm not playing for the thrill of fucking victory here. I will rent alimony, child support. It's just a great scene because it's exactly what's going on with this Wall Street bets thing. It's not about the glory. The guys that were in the in this thing and that made millions of dollars, one of the biggest guys that was in, I can't remember the name, he was in the Wall Street Journal, kid with the long hair, the, with the cat, his video. He was playing GameStop a long time ago. Same time I was, well, 12 months ago almost. March, April, something like that. He said he went in because his analysis says that GameStop's worth a lot of money. He just happened to be in the right place at the right time and he hung on to his position. If I had hung on to my position because I didn't really believe in the company, made a couple of thousand dollars, I would have made hundreds of thousands of dollars, but he is really the exception. He's not the rule. Most people, that bet in this game and hung on to this stock are losing money. And that article talks about people that put up 10 grand, they loan money from everybody, hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they're kind of like laughing about the whole thing. This trading thing is not a game. It's not like you get the glory, let's go to Las Vegas. I see people come into Las Vegas spending their whole life savings. A lot of people jump off the, the third story of the uh, uh, parking garage, I know, because I knew guys that worked in the parking garage. They never said that in Las Vegas. They never told you how many people jumped off. They just spent everything on a bet. So this game, like Kanish says, this is, this is a game where it's not to be played like you're in... Now, if you want to play in like Las Vegas, you might as well go to Las Vegas or go online. You probably have more of a chance of making money. It's a professional game and it's a blood sport. Trading in options, futures contracts, and liquid markets, people lose 50% of the time. Those are the top professional traders. So I'm talking to a lot of young guys out there, and maybe not so young guys out there. I know from experience. I was around in 99, 1999 and 2000. I was making tens of thousands of dollars a day and a week on stocks like Dell Computers and other companies never heard of until all of a sudden one day it just exploded and it just dropped just like GameStop down to nothing. 
So take some advice from Kanish. This is a game to be played by professionals. And if you're not a professional, trading in options and things like that is probably something you want to stay out of. Bill Gross talks about it. He's the bond trader. He can read, just, just Google Bill Gross article on GameStop. It's in one of my videos. And uh, he lives up the street in Laguna Beach here. This guy's a multi-billionaire, mostly a bond guy. He's a debt guy. He's buy and sell and, and trade debt. He said, the hedge funds that are left in this game and private investors are big people. Not the hedge fund that lost 50%. Really, really big guys. Like guys that fund the guy that lost his 50%. Whatever the heck the name of that fund was. I can't think of it. He said, and then there were individual investors. Like guys that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. They have shorted GameStop. Which has dropped 300 points. So it went from like 480 down to, I think it's, it's, I think it's around 100 or 110. I don't know. And today's February 3rd. What's the point? Gross says in his article, you're not going to push those guys around. They're not intimidated and they don't watch the screen. So you're watching that screen, watching your money evaporate as it falls down or, or that you're a millionaire overnight as it goes up. But those guys don't even look at it. They know that GameStop is not worth anywhere near a hundred bucks. Forget about three or four or five hundred dollars and they don't give a crap. They have steel cojones and they're going to hang in there and watch everybody fall apart and they're going to collect. They're professionals, just like professional gamblers like Kanish. This is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining me. I hopefully will not be saying anything more about GameStop, but as it evolves, more and more information is going to come out. The United States government, the Federal Reserve, big Wall Street banks like JP Morgan Chase, and huge hedge funds like Citadel. They are investing pension funds, the police pension funds, the teachers pension funds. So when a hedge fund loses money, they're losing money for regular everyday people, not gambler type people. The United States government's not gonna allow that to happen if they have any say at all. So as far as regulation is concerned, they're gonna jump in and protect the big banks. That's their job is to protect the big banks. Me. I'm very happy to see the little guy beat the crap out of the big guy. I'm always rooting for the underdog no matter what. This is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining me on the GameStop trip. It is now over as far as I'm concerned. I think you'll probably see Spike up as people hang on and try to claw their way up. And they're going to see it drop down again. I don't know where we're going to end up, but we'll find out in the future. Once again, thanks for joining me on this YouTube channel. I really appreciate your comments. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscriber button. I love comments. I answer all the comments. See you on the next video.